So I get a lot of questions of what do I do with my carcasses. Well, this is half the pile. I just thought about videotaping this. I already took half of it out. It was piled up all the way up there. So, as you can see, there's a big toe strap. It's all frozen in one big pile. And then I pull them away with the truck, and then I'll show you. Okay, got too cold for the camera. Anyway, pull it away with the truck, and then I scoop it up with the loader. And put the carcasses in there, and I got a few little here and there, a couple more to throw in there, and then we'll go for a little drive. There. And we got a bucket full of carcasses. And just head out behind my place here. And instead of driving along and along and along, I'll just pause it now and get you when we're dumping. Uh, just right at the sunset there it's hard to tell but that's my yard right there I'm only eighth of a mile away or so and this is my bush that I've dumped carcasses in a few times and I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not pile of carcasses and down they go that's it See all the carcasses there now? And that's it. The birds, the other animals, all that stuff, come and eat them. And they go back to Mother Nature. And then if we look, which is right over here, Right here. Okay, doesn't look like anything now, but a couple years ago, that's where I dropped all my carcasses there. And every year by spring, they're all gone, cleaned up. Mother Nature takes care of them really well. And, and it's hard to see, but that little bluff right there is where I dumped a whole bunch last year. So, you can see they're always right by me. This way I know nobody is getting offended and nobody comes across them. Everybody in the area here know I'm a trapper and seeing a pile of carcasses on my land wouldn't be a big deal. So, this way I'm not intruding on anybody and they're left to go. Mother Nature to eat them all up until we get again another bunch next year.